Tonight, the I-Team is getting results after we broke the news that drivers were getting hit with major fines just for crossing the Tobin Bridge. State leaders took it up, and now they say they'll forgive those fines. Ryan Kath is live in Chelsea tonight. Ryan, first the I-Team investigation, and now some big changes to this new tolling system. Huge changes, Lisa. Since that first story aired, we've heard from a driver every single day who's racked up thousands of dollars in fines just for crossing the Tobin Bridge. But tonight, the transportation's top boss tells me the system is not fair and drivers are about to get a huge break. For Boston commuters who pass on getting a transponder, there's a $3 pay-by-plate option to cross the Tobin Bridge. But for some drivers, that choice has really taken a toll. I think it's really unfair to people. David Babb crossed the bridge just four times last year, and since then, fees have ballooned his bill to more than $1,100. They can take my license, my shoes, my coat, take whatever they want. I'm not paying it. The I-Team first introduced you to David back in February. He was the first to speak out about the back-breaking bills. This is loan shock stuff. It's a joke. A steady stream of frustrated drivers followed. It felt like extortion. And how their inability to pay could cost them a license and a job. I felt hopeless. MassDOT charged $50 for each toll not paid in 60 days, and another 40 on top of that after 120 days. The longer the wait, the bigger the bill. What did you learn from this? We came to the conclusion that that wasn't fair. But tonight, Transportation Secretary Stephanie Pollack told the I-Team the state is reversing its course. In June, it will offer an amnesty program where drivers can settle up for just the cost of the tolls. All those fees will disappear. Was there a turning point for you? The turning point was when I asked people to tell me how many people owed us late fees and it was more than 50,000 people. And the new fine structure will also change dramatically. After 30 days, a $1 late fee added to each toll. Total late fees capped at $500 per year. And to make sure drivers don't throw bills in the trash, they'll now arrive in a bright orange envelope. We'll learn from the experience on the Tobin Bridge, we'll listen to our customers and we'll make changes when it makes sense. Yeah, I give them credit. I give him credit. After being the squeaky wheel for months, David is relieved somebody was listening. I think that's fair. Okay, we, we hear you now. We see where you're coming from. We're trying to fix it. Here's your opportunity to wipe it clean. I like that. Okay, so if you're one of those few drivers who actually paid those high toll fees, unfortunately, you're out of luck. I'm told you won't be getting a refund. And here's why the state wants to get this right. The Tobin Bridge, it's the pilot project. This all-electronic tolling will be coming to the turnpike within the next couple years. We're live tonight in Chelsea. Ryan Kath, WBZ News. Lisa? Thank you, Ryan. This story started with a tip, and if there's something you want the I-Team to check out, send an email to iteam at cbsboston.com. You can also call us at 617-779-TIPS.